Hi beauties and girls, we are back with another video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm wait, hoping and praying that the sun comes back, but we're gonna get straight into this video. Today's video, we are talking about natural hair products that I regret buying. And I'm gonna let you know, li listen, these did not work for me. Doesn't mean that they don't work for you. If they work for you, continue to use them. Continue to ball, okay? Continue to slay the game. These just did not slay the game and on my side but keep on slaying girlfriend keep on slaying so let's get straight into this video the first one we're going to talk about is the kinky curly curling custard now this had me balling with a twa all day long here's my like that jesus i see the light this item had me balling when i was at twa when i had a twa my hair was balling okay this was no joke not playing it was amazing but since then I kind of get the ramen noodle noodle kind of like strangly I already have fine thin hair so if you have thick hair this would probably work for you I know the glam twins love this but this is not working right now for my hair just because it makes my ends look even finer than they already are i don't know if you have fine thin hair let me know if the kinky curly cut cur curl the kinky curly curling custard works for you i'm actually going to give this to my sister who has thicker hair and she wears her hair natural um this is a 16 ounce i'm so sad to be giving this away y'all tell y'all saw the love was real before half of the love is gone yes i regret buying this because I pretty much got through this one, but my 16 ounce is kind of like a waste. Not really a waste because I'm giving it to my sister, so I'm sharing the love. But my Missy Palo just won't have it anymore. She just got an attitude. If y'all don't know who Missy Palo is, she's my alter ego. My hair alter ego, okay? Next product, Camille Rose Curl Maker Marshmallow and Agave Leaf Extract. This is the one that has, um, it, it's glycerin free. Both of the, uh, as a matter of fact, this was a glycerin free too. But this curl maker, this gave me immaculate first day hair. But something happens. Something happens. Between the second and the third day. And Missy Palo said, no, 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 papi. I love this product on first day. If I want to go, if I want to slay on first day hair, this is what I'm going to go to. I have so many other ones that give me, even my Eco Styler Coconut gives me at least three days. Just give me three days, you know. Uh, the Resurrect me on the third day, okay? But this one only gives me first day, and so I regret getting it because, yeah. I, I'm so sad that this doesn't work for me because I love so many of Camille Rose products. Y'all know Curl Love Moisture Milk is my jam. Yes, it's not that my hair doesn't like Camille Rose, the curl maker. It's just that, I don't know, something happens between the second and the third day. And basically what I'm saying is that it dries out so quickly, it loses it. Because I don't get like crunchy curls with this. I get soft curls and it starts to lose the form of its curl. And it looks, I, lo I can embrace the frizz, but then it doesn't have that polished frizz to me. I don't know if that makes sense. It, it starts to look kind of dried out and you know anyway see glycerin wasn't the devil and this one is just my hair didn't like it unfortunately these are a no for me these are the cream of nature argon oil this is the twirling custard for style and let's see curl styling gel and this is the butterlicious curls first of all it kind of confused me on how to use these I didn't know this one says twirling, twirling custard so let me tell you something although this says twirling custard I do still try these items as a wash and go and a curling custard uh, in my review you're gonna see in my review of these and I'm going to link the video um, down in the description bar or over here in the icard so you guys can check it out but this it says that it defines and elongates for crunch free curls these do have soft, soft curls, but it says no frizz, no shrinkage, no dryness. Unfortunately, I must have like alien hair because it did all three for me. This M M Missy Palo, like she went in a rage for these. Like I, these did the opposite of what I want a product to do on my hair. 
and I just maybe this is for like thicker hair but unfortunately this did not work for my fine thin hair Butterlicious is a it, it's like a gel first of all it's these these smell so amazing these first of all let me to say this let me well not first of all I've already said it, but these smell so amazing the co-wash and the deep conditioner look y'all I'm almost done with this this is so good but these the styling products on my hair no 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 ma'am no ma'am these did not work for me and probably you know what my hair got so so frizzy with this and it's probably because glycerin is the second product this is the second ingredient in this product the twirling custard I should have known that should have known that that was my fault like I'm just telling you this is this is to prove that glycerin is not for my hair this I, I tried it a certain stage in my natural hair journey doesn't mean that it always be that way so I did try this but this did not work this one did not work either and it was very heavy on my hair and um, let's see glycerin is the second product the second ingredient in this one too that's probably why it did not work but I would say no on these for my hair and it's probably because of glycerin if your hair loves glycerin you might want to try these again these I felt like these smelled amazing the consistency was amazing but I can even tell in the process of me applying this to my hair my hair was like oh and it Stop. wasn't because of the dew points it was because of the glycerin and just because I say that glycerin is a devil a lot of times I like to prove it I just don't want to say that and not back it up I'm letting you know my hair loves certain ingredients and now that I know that my hair loves certain ingredients I kind of like stick to that so it's not necessarily that I want to dislike a product I just don't like it because my hair says it doesn't I hope that makes sense so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up so leave down in the comments let me know what products did not work for you or a product that didn't work for you and why yeah Please subscribe and I will see beautiful you in the next video. Bye, bubbies.